Welcome back. All right, today um, I'm working on trying to address a DGT relay through Lee Chess of the Crazy House Championship. Um, it'd be great to be able to get live um, files indicating when um, moves are made by each engine. So uh, in an endeavor to get that working, uh, I'm going to experiment with this a bit, but first um, I'm going to experiment with just can I create a broadcast um, crazy house test test multi-file relay of crazy house games source URL I'll get that in a second something.json is what I hear this is supposed to be one file per game starting you know whenever sure uh, now this needs to be a valid URL something.json might be a valid URL but it's not what we're looking for I have to fill in the blanks here based on advice from Thibault um, which is that I should be doing having one JSON file containing metadata for all the games um, or maybe a JSON containing metadata for each game then each game is a distinct PGN file I think he means one J oh I'm sorry he does say there's one JSON file um, I'm not sure if I should clarify but it's more fun uh, we'll get to that in a minute so let me create um, such a test file all right um, let's vim match.json key colon value that's not a valid json file I don't have an example on hand, um, which is why I was actually going to go here to Leela, go over to this Leela um, broadcast JSON, and see if I could figure out how it is that this works. I was skimming through the code earlier today. Um, figure it out one way or another. The move broadcast is pretty cool but um, this is under socket we're not looking for socket we're not looking for study or simul we are looking for a thing I believe called a relay um, and if my search here isn't specific enough maybe we just go to the relay module itself and try to figure out exactly what's going on in this module um, there is <laughs> JSON view .scala, but Let's see, which of these expect a JSON file? Relay.scala, Relay API. Okay. Relay fetch.scala. Let's take a look at this. All right, round JSON pairing, round JSON. So, what are our key? Oh! round.json. This is apparently the name of the file that I'm supposed to create. So I've already messed up. Uh, vim round.json Isn't this round? Ha 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 ha. Okay. So um, we expect that round.json is going to contain information about game-number for each um, uh, game being played. So, hmm. Okay, so if we have a valid HTTP code, then we read the JSON file on success. Um, something about pairings and size and such. Now, is there a round JSON reader or something that defines the properties of the JSON file that I'm trying to extract? P 
comparing stat size to at most max. Um, <laughs> round reads reads uh, re result that JSON. Round reads is a round JSON. So I want to go over to round JSON if there if I can find such a thing. Um, and if I can't find it, you could always use this to search for it. Um, it's a list of round JSON pairing. Uh, round JSON pairing is a case class. Okay, but all the logic is in the same file. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Boolean uh, being live. Um, hmm. <laughs> How do I parse this scala to interpret what it means? I mean, worst case, I just make an example and see how it fails. Um, multi PGN to games. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for, though. We're looking for what's the format of the JSON. That, I assume it's just file name, like game dash number. Hmm. Oh wait, this probably is just a val uh, a key of an ID and a boolean attribute of uh, is this live or not. So right, the only attribute um, of a game is whether or not it is considered to be live. Mm -hmm. Let me see, DGT spec live. Oh my goodness, this is going to be very tricky to find anything. Technical specifications. Yeah, I am not optimistic about this, but we'll take a look. Um, oh, yeah, that's your technical specifications about how it works. Beautiful. Um, not exactly what I was hoping for. DGT uh, chess protocol version 2, if there is a versioning 2. Um, mm -hmm. An input engine for the DGT digital chess board. Let's see how it's used. Um, Okay, but is this like the original protocol? Because I think DGT create. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought there was a version two protocol, a multi-file way of using it that um, might have been defined somewhere. Okay, let's take a peek at. Um, well, I guess I have to download this driver. Um, let me see. Well, that launched my video game uh, retro achievements console thing, but assuming I did load this uh, with 7-zip, um, their source code available explaining what's in here. And if so, is there anything related to JSON in this driver? Um, okay. <laughs> um, Okay, yeah, there's no mention of JSON in this driver. So this driver is not what I need. This might have worked at some point, but eventually all DGT is going to use a newer protocol than that offered through this driver, so this is not sufficient. Um, okay. Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> I assume the reason the protocol is so difficult to find is because um, if anybody had the protocol, anybody could make their own board, like many enthusiasts have made. So now what? Um, hmm. I mean, I'd like to be able to have a DGT board and use non-DGT software with it. Um, likewise, I'd like to be able to have any kind of board and make it into a DGT board. Um, so I'm trying to simulate DGT input so that it can be sent to leech us from open source software so we can relay our crazy house chess games on leech us and dgt appears to be the lingua franca that we're using so we'll see how far we get um mm -hmm. So is there any open source GUI that use this? Uh, oh, there it is. Um, right, but that doesn't support the newest mode because we were just looking at this. So, okay. So there's no clues as to what's supposed to go in the JSON file. Um, so we're back to looking at source code and or guessing. Um, Looks like guessing might be my best shot at present. So let me just put some content into my source file. Round.json is what it's supposed to be, and um, my games are supposed to be named game-1, game-2, etc. Um, Game-1.pgn. Um, so if I want this to work, I have to like put braces around everything, I believe. There is a minimal JSON form that does not require that, but... Okay, live, colon, true. Is this valid JSON? Or do I need to put quotes around everything? I think quotes are necessary for this to be considered valid JSON. Okay. Um, so let me just make sure this is fully com well formed JSON, JavaScript object notation. Just a simple example. I mean, it's great that we have a grammar here. Uh, okay, there we go. There's, yeah, brace, members, and brace. Okay, and then each member is either pair or pair, comma, members pair. Uh, but I don't so much care for um, the full specification. I would just like a simple example. Okay, yeah, there's a pair, and then an optional comma and more pairs. So, yeah, I've defined a fully formed JSON file. Um, touch game-1.pgn okay cron tab e this is me and my way of pushing changes to google um, uh, json pgn I believe this is a fully valid um, command for pushing changes to... Yep, okay, that works. Cool. Anybody can push their own um, files to Google Drive using a similar command, assuming that they've set up all their credentials appropriately um, using the Drive open source utility. Um, so there's nothing fancy there. So I'm not sure um, on the other hand, game-1.pgn is not well formed. So let me make a simple pgn file. Uh, sunsetter.sh. Let's see. We don't need this. Um, 
instead of saying 64 rounds, we're just going to do one game. And we're going to call this game-1.pgn. And I think, um, let's run this at a much faster time control. Um, 10 seconds and um, 10 seconds for the whole game plus a one second increment per move. We should have that game completed pronto. So sunsetter.sh. Um, in fact, why don't I remove game-1.pgn then run this script. So we'll get a uh, well-formed um, uh, PGN file. And while I'm doing that, while that's running and creating a PGN, uh, I need the source URL. <sighs> okay, I see now where the difficulty lies in all this. There is a fly in the ointment, and that's that I have to go to Google uh, Drive to go define what the URL is for... Oh my goodness, this is going to be a mess. Um, why am I using Google Drive? I don't know. But it does not give me the ability to put everything into the same directory, um, which would be necessary for this to work. Meaning... <laughs> Uh, I have to take Google Drive out of the equation at this point if I want, like, this isn't going to work. Um, Google's uh, URL structure depends on the ID of the file. So I can't just put round.json in the same directory with some other file and expect that to work through Google Drive. I need to create a round.json and put it um, somewhere, oh, I can't do the same thing on GitHub either. Oh my goodness. This is such a headache. Um, so I need to create a repository. Okay. So make dir broadcast um, cd broadcast git init copy um, uh, G drive um, everything here okay um, LS oh, we got stockfish here that's okay star P oh we can't get rid of everything to PGN but we can get rid of game dash one we can get rid of match PGN we can get rid of um sunsetter.pgn let me take a look at match.sh um, and while that is a well-formed way of defining a match I'm just looking to play a single game here and call it game-1 and uh, we don't need the no hangup at the beginning of that um, Save that and then change this to 10 seconds, a tenth of a second increment per move. That should give us a PGN file. Um, now, how is it that I get Stockfish to play both engines? Um, let's see. There we go. I don't think I've missed anything here. So let's try that out. Um, I think that's everything we need. Okay. Vim.get ignore. Uh, stockfish. Okay. We don't need sunsetter or sunsetter.sh in this directory for purposes of creating a match. Um, uh, cute chest 
stuff can be ignored. Stockfish can be ignored. Get status uh, shows that get and dot get ignore get status. Um, <laughs> Crazy house sources. Um, yeah, we're not going to use that file. So we have match.sh. We don't need no hop that out. Okay. Get add round.json. Um, okay, so this would be a way to test. Um, I think that's what the file has to look like. Get and everything, get status, it's good. Um, get commit, initial commit, okay, clear. Um, then I have to go, okay, so I think I have a new message. Each game is a distinct PGN file. In this case, the live PGN just CLI live would work. It was tested to work uh, that is live broadcast, except that the full game will not be saved. Um, okay. So we'll use the live. Um, create a match of 24, knockout. So, okay. Set concurrency to 1. Uh, create leeches broadcast beta to handle this live PGN for viewing. Uh, create another beta is the replay to handle completed games for replay for viewers. Interesting. Okay. This game is on distinct PGN file. In this case, the live PGN would work. Um, what does this mean? Each game is a distinct file. The live would work. It's already tested to work. That is live broadcast, except the full game would not be saved entirely in the broadcast. But this is a minor issue as full games are saved on his local PC, but could later be used for a broadcast uh, to replay. Still running the last round of Swiss games, after which he's going to run this. Okay, so he does have a way of proceeding. That doesn't mean I need to drop everything. Um, um, I can still continue with my experiment and figure out the right way to do this. But it does mean that I'm not in the critical path anymore, which is a huge relief. Um, so, we're going to create a new repository. How do I go create a new repository? It's been a long time since I've had to do this. Broadcast. Uh, us. Uh, DGTV2 broadcast test. Crazy house. Uh, um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, we don't need any of these things. Okay, and then I can copy this URL and then go over here, get remote v, get remote add origin this, get push origin master, and this should sync up GitHub with my local changes, um, namely that, oops, Refresh this, and then if I go over here, um, get the raw file, grab this URL, um, and this URL is going to become 
what we're using there. Raw to GitHub user content.com slash my name slash broadcast slash master slash round dot JSON. Okay, so I believe this is what I need in order to attempt to create a broadcast. You can click to connect. Uh, cannot fetch. Okay. Uh, what could it fail to fetch? It could not fetch from this URL. Well, okay, that's not my problem. That's... I can get there. Why can't Leech us get that? Um, we're experimenting though. This is all in beta, so it's not like I should expect everything to work out of the box, because this is still in beta. And perhaps there is something on GitHub that prevents this file from being read. Cannot fetch HTTPS. Raw GitHub. Okay. Um, maybe I can take the HTTPS aspect out of it? Yeah. Well, okay. My own browser likes to reinsert the secure HTTP for this, but um, perhaps this could be fetched without use of secure HTTP. Let's try that. Could not fetch that either. Okay, so I don't know what that's about. Um, cannot fetch the file. I would have expected Oh, well, okay, maybe the error message itself is incomplete. Maybe this just saying that it couldn't fetch the games that were expected to be there because of this file. Um, in fact, yeah, case result cannot fetch round URL error result.status. Um, so, um, Well, no, it would have given me a different error message, wouldn't it? It would have asked for game URL as opposed to round URL. Um, whoops. Okay, I don't... I've got the same file open twice there. Could not fetch... Well, I can't see what it failed to fetch. Uh, this is round.json. The file's definitely there. Um... Hmm. Do I need to put that file on my web server? This is something that... Why would there be anything in the way there? And plus it says error, but I don't see um, an error code? Error result.status. Um, can I inspect this and maybe... Maybe my browser's just not rendering it properly. Um, Let's see. Cannot fetch round.json slash round.json. Okay. So I mail formatted this. I should have provided the path in which round.json can be found. Um, am I supposed to put a trailing slash? Does it really matter? Looks like uh, I don't need a trailing slash because LeechS will automatically add one if I don't. So let's submit this. Can we connect to the directory, the path, the URL? Okay, validation error. Better. Um, 400 invalid request. Okay, so list of pairings comma list of validation editor let's inspect this and figure out what it is that I mail formed um, slash pairings error.path.missing <laughs> um, 
I'm guessing that's just telling me that I'm missing an element called pairings. Is that so? Um, let's see how far we can get. So let's edit this. Pairings. And then add a brace. And then another brace. And then inside here, put um, this. Maybe this is better formed. Um, in fact, let's just put it all in one line, because I don't know how to format JSON, because I'm sure every possible way to format it is valid, but I don't know like what's the best style for formatting a JSON file, if that makes any sense, and it probably doesn't. Um, I think this is considered valid JSON. Get add round.json, get to commit, add element pairings, get push origin master, okay, and let's give this a whirl, pulling source. So it's interesting, this is actually going to pull the updated source file. I'm not sure when it's going to get the latest update of this, but hopefully I'll get a more interesting error message when it does obtain the new source. Um, let me refresh my page. Oh, these are cached messages. Let's try to reconnect to the source. Okay, so I think we got a new error message. Maybe not. Um, list pairings. Now, maybe I need a directory named pairings? I'm not sure. Where could this error message have come from? Um, Round dot pairings. How does this work? Oh! Do I need to specify an element named round and then another element named pairings? Okay, I think I'm starting to become a little bit less bad at understanding how JSON works. Um. So I think there should be a round one, and then pairings, and then pairings including game one. I think that's an example. So let me take another stab at this. So does that mean there's gonna be an element named rounds or an element named round? What is round in this context? For each round, look at the pairings. Okay. Um, no, my GitHub source URL is pointed to um, just raw.githubusercontent.com. It does not, it's just pulling the latest version from master. So if I navigate to this URL, um, well, that's an invalid request somehow. Um, round.json, though. If I add round.json, I do get my latest version of this. Um, so this is what it looks like at the moment. Uh, I think I need to add something per round. And I don't think it matters what the key is, but I think whatever the key is, it's going to point, uh, it's going to contain something that looks like this. So I need to envelop my pairings inside a thing called a round. It doesn't really matter what the round is, as long as I have a round. Uh, something like that. Let's embed this. 
So I think this should be valid. Um, this is like kind of silly the way I formatted it, but um, um, I mean, I could name this whatever I want, so let's call it round one. And it has pairings, and pairings contains game-1.pgn. Presumably this is kind of sort of how it's supposed to look. We'll find out if this does any better. Um, uh, add element round one. We have push origin master, and that's publishing. So maybe this is considered valid. We'll find out. Um, disconnect. Refresh my page, because why not? Um, reconnect. And do I get a new error message this time? I got something. Inspect. Um, so if I inspect this, I get an error message that says... Uh, list pairings, list validation error, list error.expected.js array. Um, I think this is still saying it's expecting something called slash pairings. Um, and I don't, hmm, as for why it would expect something called slash pairings and where it would be expected, I'm not sure. Um, wait, did I not publish my change? I'm pretty sure I did. Can my browser not find it? That's really weird. Um, cat of round.json. So my local browser it looks this way. Or sorry, my local shell, it looks like that. If I try to navigate, that makes no sense. Um, I mean, this is what the raw contents of the file should look like. Um, supposed to be, oh, an array! Oh! Okay, let's give that a shot. Um, there's no harm in trying things. Okay, so first pairing would be um, like that. Okay. And then we'll put the end brace down here um, somewhere. Um, in fact, let's start to format this a little bit better. Uh, something like that, I guess. Um, just so like I'm not driving everybody mad watching this. Um, round one pairings game one dot pgn. Let's sure. Get add round dot json clear clear. Get push or get commit make pairings and array, get push, origin broadcast, get push origin master, just kidding. So let's push that and see what do we get. Um, refresh. So, not sure why this is in red. I mean, this looks valid to me, but I'm sure if there's some validation error, we'll get such a message here. Unexpected character colon. I was expecting a comma to separate array entities. Okay, so I'm just bad at JSON. Um, 
Hmm. Why am I dumb? Oh, Python dash m json dot tool file name. Okay. Let's see if I have that installed, or if I have to obtain. It. All right. Thank you. Um. All right. Python dash m json dot tool. Um. Mm -mm. Expecting comma delimiter line four column twenty. Four twenty. All right, got it. I did that on purpose, you know. Um, expected a comma here. We have an array. But I would think an array could contain multiple key value pairs. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. <laughs> uh, okay. So this here is an object. Okay. Duh. Um, all right. Um, is this valid? Looks valid to me. Um, cool. All right, get commit or get add around a JSON. Get commit. Um, fix. Um, it turns out that JSON arrays. Uh. Uh, whatever. Encapsulate game one uh, as its own object in the array. In, in pairings array. Uh, get push origin master. Take 35 action. This is devolving into. Um, that one XKCD comic, but um, oh, well, apparently it's my mouse must have double clicked or something. Um, okay, so if I go back here, refresh again, yeah, there we are. This time with valid JSON, um, can we just accept this and then laugh at me for not supplying the PGN file? Um, something might be cached somewhere, but once we get this far, um, then I should be able to, well, we'll see. We'll see how far this gets. If this gets far enough that it gives me a different error message, then we'll bother trying to supply the PGN, which shouldn't be too hard to produce. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure why it's getting an old value of that file. In the meantime, let's just create us, um, start at sh, match.sh, game dot one, or game dash one, um, game dash two. Let's run us some crazy house games so that we have the PGN when we need it. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I mean, I guess I could change the URL up a little bit, so um, not that that's even necessary, but that should help this maybe try to get the latest version of the file. Uh, list pairings. Okay, what's our error message here? 
Okay, pairings is missing. It's the error message there. So, yeah, somehow putting things on GitHub is not making this any easier. Um, it does give me the ability to put multiple files in the same directory, but GitHub has its own caching scheme. So if I want to guarantee that I get the latest version of a file, um, I could be kind of SOL with that. Um, let's go over here, grab this URL. Um, let's see, temp, get this shit. Um, just kidding. Cat round.json. Okay, so when I get the file, I do get the latest version of the file. Um, but that just means that GitHub's not the best place to host um, such content for testing purposes. So, how do I force um, GitHub to offer the latest version of the file? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll go back here. Um, hopefully GitHub will eventually give us a new version of the file. Um, let's see. Okay, so let me... Where's my broadcast? Here it is. Um, we've got game dash one. A PGN. That's a valid PGN file. All right, let's refresh this. Okay. Is this using? Yeah, this is using HTTP. Okay, I'm not sure where something's getting cached in this pipeline of everything, but I also don't know how to test this any further. I think I've progressed to the logical extreme with this. I think at this point I'm stuck, but that's okay because we will be broadcasting um, using uh, this technique. So I don't know when this match will start precisely. It will be interesting to look at each game live at the time that the game is live. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your support. Sorry I don't have an overlay for bit counters at the moment, um, but thank you. Um, so, yeah, present, um, this is the plan for how we're going to relay the match. Um, this is going to work, this will be okay, this just means that if we want to track the latest progress of the match, as well as previous match games, um, both of those things won't be available on Lee Chess, only the current game, um, will be available. Oh cool. That's a nice alt name there. Too weak, too slow. And I see your alt name above that. Yeah. Um so yeah, what do I do? Um let's try to pull the file again. Maybe GitHub will be nice to us this time. Nope. Um yeah, GitHub's just not giving Leech us the latest version of this file. I don't know how to force GitHub to offer the latest version of the file. Well, no, I... <laughs> there is a way. Um, there's always a way. The way to force GitHub to offer the latest version would be to view this version, view the raw contents, grab this commit URL, and make that commit URL the path name 
used to used in the source URL here, um, except subtract round.json. Submit that. Okay, so I've got this all fetching from a specific commit being my latest commit. Oh, it's still invalid. That doesn't make sense, does it? I'd like to think that my JSON was valid, especially because I checked it with the validation checker. Um, slash pairings is missing. Okay, well, at this point I'm just completely at a loss because as best as I can tell, I'm not missing pairings. And, I mean, Well, no, it was interesting that for a moment there we got a different error message, but um, we were thinking maybe pairings has to be the outermost element here. Okay, I guess that makes sense. If round is the document as a whole, we don't need to have a round one. Um, so what this means is... Okay, so this, because this is round.json, um, uh, get add round.json, get commit, remove element round, because this is the round, get push origin master, um, so this was pulling the latest content from GitHub. Despite my ignorance, this was doing the right thing. Okay, so if I want to view the latest um, version of this file, we can use this here path. Subtract round.json, subtract the trailing slash. Try to connect again. What happens this time? Pairings is still missing. But that should have been the root element pairings here, right? Do I need to remove the braces on the outside of this? Um, where was tool.json here? I am so confused. Here we are. Yep, this is well formatted JSON. Hmm. Can it be pulled when you inspect the page on Chrome? I'm struggling with what that means. Can it be pulled when you inspect the page? I mean, I can expect the element. It still says that I'm missing element pairings. Oh, maybe you're just asking what happens when I pull this file in Chrome. I mean, this is what I get. Pairings is definitely here. Um, but I'm seeing the error message that I'm missing pairings. So I don't know what that means. I mean, maybe there's a way I could just grab part of this Scala file, run it offline. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Um, I'm sure plenty of people are banging their heads against desks just watching, um, but we'll figure this out. If the result status is 200, okay, then try to parse the file. And we're trying to parse the entire file and look for an element pairings. And for each pairing, the game URL is um, game-number. I'm not sure where number comes from in all. Well, no, number is an iterator. Um, regardless, something's not wholly exactly as it should be here. Um, but we should at least find pairings in this JSON. And somehow pairings is not being found. I did provide the full path. Um, I'm able to get to that path, I'm able to get round.json out of that path. 
I'm not sure what else to try. Let's see. HTTP get round URL flat map. Round up pairings. Um. Mm, hmm. I mean, there's only a finite number of ways I could spell out a file. I could make a program that generates every possible JSON file under some number of characters and see what happens with each parsing of each file, but that seems like not the most efficient way to go by this. Um, I mean, this seems like something I could extract and run offline as just a simple scale of file, but I don't know... Um, I'm not sure how I troubleshoot it in any event. Roundup pairings.size it's saying we're missing an element called pairings. Uh, let me look at this. DGT pairings JSON. I cannot be the only person trying to figure this out. DGT chess pairings JSON. Okay. Please let this be informative. Selection, load pairing, JSON? Nope. Pairings? Also not here. Um, can I gather anything out of this? Uh, probably not. Okay, uh, startup, workflow, serial ports, ID, identifier, alive, source, battery, battery, run, white, black, flag, lever, information, uh, board memory, tournaments, summary, but no specification. Um, mm -hmm. Players, corrections, after the game, and complete games live. Okay. Set up eboards, registration, clock at start. Finished. Yep. How to use the board, multiple sub tournaments, but this in no way specifies exactly how the board works, just the manual for its usage. Um, let's take a stab at this on the old Google. Um, not that I expect DGT is going to be so kind as to explain how this works. Um, index of packages matching library? Why would it find that? Do I really have to get rid of the word JSON to get relevant results here? Um, hmm. Okay. There's Kiasa, that's not what we're looking for. Or Kiasa, or however you say it. Um, it's a cool picture of a dude. Um, DGT software with categories, chess computers, eboard for chess, for draughts, etc. Um, live chess beta. I don't suppose that I'm going to get more information. Okay. 
Um, for tournament broadcasting and management is new and greatly improved, offers, etc., etc. Free to download and use, but keep in mind the beta expires the 11th of January. Well, good thing it's not the 11th of January, am I right? Um, okay, I just want to look at the manual to see if the software is something worth downloading and installing. If it is, maybe this would give me enough to try to figure out how to produce the files necessary for Leech us to be able to do stuff. Okay, there's a DGG cloud service. That's spiffy. Um, lab chess software, prepping a tournament, etc., etc. Broadcasting games. Um, I could understand why DGT would want to have its own cloud. That makes so much sense. Um, all right, directory path. Cloud service, live chess, internet broadcast. All right, let me take a look at this. That's interesting. Um, let me grab the CRL. Oh. Okay. Let me try to emulate something like that. Or in fact, why don't we just do that? Um, um, get check out the okay. So you get. Fifty-four, one ninety-four, two two three, two one seven. This name, Ivan Shuk. Uh, okay, move round dot JSON dot one into round dot JSON. Uh, status get add round. JSON, get commit, import file from uh, here, get push origin, this branch, oops, okay, let's try to type that better, and then go over here and see what if I don't want master? What if I want to try to relay that event's source? Um, connect. If that works, then what that means is, okay, cannot reach error 404, because that's probably an invalid URL. Um, I probably have to like type slash branch or something somewhere in all of that. Um, let me go find where my branch's latest changes are. Round.json raw. Oops, rather than this, let's just grab the link address and import that minus round.json. I mean, that looks pretty similar to what I originally typed in, but. Um, Okay, I must have typoed the name or something. Um, okay, so how did I get an invalid URL? Let me copy this out of my address bar. Um, go back over here. Oh, 1.pgn is missing. Oh, never mind. That's completely different. 1.pgn is game file number one. 
Okay. That's much better. All right, so. Um, get check out master, get merge, because you know we can. Um, okay, bring around that JSON. So just do something like this. Um, then, uh, move game dash one dot pgn to one dot pgn. Um, move game dash two. Well, we don't even need a game dash two. Um, uh, let's go look at one dot pgn. Whatever. I would hope to test this with a live PGN file. It's okay that it's not live. Um, we don't even need all these attributes necessarily. Um, but the only attribute we care about in any of this here uh, is whether or not it's live. Um, you don't even need the result tag. This should be sufficient. Um, okay, get status, get add, um, round.json, one.pgn. Did I change anything here? Oh, uh, I did add game dash one. We're just going to change that to one.pgn. Um, okay, that should be sufficient. Um, get commit. Um, get commit amend. All right. Add game one and update match script. Push origin master. Let's see, do we need all those tags like white and black and so forth? Or will this minimal form be enough? Let's find out. Submit. Cannot fetch 1.pgn, error.404. Uh, copy link address. Okay. Okay, so if I add slash 1.pgn to the end of that, I can find it. Um, directory game dash number. Not fetch game URL. So which is it? One dot PGN or game dash one dot PGN? Oh, I'm sorry. This must be game dash one, and the dash is breaking. Okay, because we have word wrap or something. Never mind. Okay, so get move one dot PGN to game dash one dot PGN. Then match sh. Yes, I had this right the first time. It's just I got confused reading this in my browser. I did type that correctly, but my syntax highlighter is wrong. Get status, get add, match, get commit, rename 1.pgn to game dash 1.pgn uh, origin master. Let's give that a whirl. Okay. And do we have a game dash one dot PGN being imported now? Am I too optimistic to think this might work?
How many more animals should I sacrifice while I'm waiting? <laughs> um, but no, it's good to see that something's happening, I think. Um, what's the URL here again? Like, if I grab this literal message, this literal message, in fact, this is what it says. Game-1.pgn, error 404. Okay, but if I navigate to this URL, that's a valid URL. So it just must be taking a while to propagate the file. But the file is there. Um, JSON is reasonably well specified. Um, and GitHub is just refusing to serve the file up to LeechS for God knows why. But um, yeah, I think overall this is a success here. We figured out how to create a JSON file, how to make a valid JSON file. Um, oh, check that out. Just as I'm declaring success, um, yeah, GitHub decides to serve up the file. Perfect. So yeah, mission accomplished. Um, and if we want to go on a victory lap, we do so, um, this is like the least efficient possible way to do this, but we can do it. Um, now I'm not going to run both of these, but it just shows, as an example, these are two commands people can run um, in order to produce uh, game files. And then I can go update match.json to have multiple games in it and um, indicate that one's live and the other is not live and so on and so forth. Um, this should finish producing a file within a minute because I set each engine to have 10 seconds initially with a tenth of a second increment. Yep, there it is. Get game dash two. There it is. Vim match. Uh, rather vim round dot json. Uh, so this is game one. Is pairings uh, braces. Let me take another quick look at that example file. I had that open. Oh, I still have it open here. Um, okay. Right, so I think this would still be considered valid JSON. Um, and to test that that's valid, we do Python dash M uh, to check what's the cleanest way to format the file. Yep, so. This is indeed valid JSON. The way I formatted it might not be best, but uh, get diff cache will show what we changed. Namely, we have the new PGN file. We've got an updated script. Oh, um, brown.json. Um, <laughs> I said live colon false. Um, I guess technically that's true. The game isn't live, but Leech has pulled it anyway. But, um, okay, I was going to update the initial live from false to true, but that appears not to be necessary. All right, cool. All right, yep, thanks for stopping by. Um, So, I uh, don't need that open. Hit commit, add game two. Hit push origin master. And time to see if we get a second game imported. Um, how 
insanely great would that be if we were two for two here? Amazing. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, we'll take it. Um, nice. All right, so I'll grab this. Um, okay, sounds good to me. By the way, Niklas assisted me with figuring out multi in broadcasts. For example, and then we link to this URL. Um, uh, produced by the following. Okay. Um, okay, so I very much appreciate all the help getting this working. Oh boy, it was a bit of an adventure. Got it like a thousand times faster thanks to your assistance. I could have been here all night trying to figure this out. So I definitely appreciate the help. Um, and yeah, we have an example for others to follow. Um, so that's good. Um, interesting. I'm not claiming that that's the end all be all, but yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for your assistance. I really appreciate it. It's good that we put together this example um, to help document this in the future. Possibly Ferdinand might be able to use some of that in the very near future, but I doubt it. Because setting up the infrastructure to be able to produce, well, I don't know, you'd have to produce the JSON. Um, with one entry per pairing. Uh, you'd have to produce files with names game-1, game-2, game dash etc. Which I don't think Cute Chess is natively going to do anyway. It's a lot of manual effort. I don't know if Ferdinand would be bothered to do all of that. Plus, he's already got a plan. But for future tournaments, um, this could be certainly very useful. Uh, I only was aware that he had a plan halfway into this broadcast, and I figured since I started on this, I might as well finish it. It'll give us a good example for us to follow in the future. We can augment it later. So this is good. Um, we will have the Crazy House Championship broadcast on Lee Chess. Uh, if I'm around, I'll comment on it. Each game here is going to take quite a long time to finish. So it might be simpler for me to just comment on that in the morning or once my weekend begins when I have more time to look at it. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for all the help. It's good getting this working. Um, and we'll be back with some broad, uh, with some crazy house, with some chess pretty soon. Don't know exactly when, but we'll find out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope we all learned something together. And I'll see you next time. Take care.